all, so this video is really, really delayed. This is my January and February empties. Um, before I moved house, I had started my January empties, um, and basically I've just carried on doing them. Uh, so again, as usual, I've got the big Kraft Kitson blue bag, and um, I'll just go ahead and show you what um, is in here. So big oil item bath which is what Ava has in their bath and uh, that is a 600ml bottle and um, that was prescribed in September so she goes through one of those sort of every four months roughly um, and there's another one in the bathroom which is about to come to an end so that's that. Uh, shower gels, we've got a palm olive and this is honey and moisturising milk. Absolutely love the smell of this, but I do find that I go through that really quickly. Um, don't know why, but I just do compared to some other shower gels. Um, I'm just going to show you these as I grab them because the bag's full. Again, Ava stuff. Zero Derm ointment. I think I've done um, an empty video before where I've explained about this. Um, Ava's got really bad eczema. And this is the only stuff that I found that really, really helps. It's really um, oily, greasy on your hands, but it is brilliant. And you can use it as a moisturiser, and you can also use it in the bath or the shower, or use it to wash your hands and things as a soap alternative. Um, and again, we go through a tub of that every sort of two to three months. Good stuff. Aquafresh, I think this is new. Uh, it's the Fresh Mint Mouthwash, absolutely brilliant, love that stuff, it was a pound from, I think that was from Home Bargains. Baby Shampoo, this was the Cousins Mum and Me range, the Ultra Mild Baby Shampoo, not a big fan. Uh, didn't really give any uh, any lather, um, it's made with extra virgin olive oil so it's probably not supposed to lather up but I do like Johnson's Baby shampoo so I won't necessarily buy this one again and it took us quite a while to get through it and I think I actually ended up using it finishing it off in the end anyway um, so yeah I won't buy that again Redox deodorant for Dean it's a 24 hour for men and in here I've got a Lush bath bomb the Lord of Misrule um, I did film um, a review for that one but my camera died halfway through and um, I didn't think it was worth uploading half because you didn't see the full effect of what the bath, this, this one actually did but I really really liked um, this one and I will buy it again and do a review when I next go to Lush and get it. Um, this is a fragrance free nappy cream from Tesco's and it's basically the same as uh, Pseudocreme I think it's zinc oxide, yeah zinc oxide, same as Sudocreme basically but just a, a Tesco brand instead. Clean and Clear, the Deep Action Cream Wash and love it, but definitely buy that again but at the minute I've got the exfoliating one in the shower so I'll hang on till that's all gone. A Nivea Pearl and Beauty sh uh, Spray, I think I bought this because it was on offer and it smells nice, liked it, you know. Not as nice as the usual, but I did like it. What else have I got? The Jergens Ultra Healing Extra Dry Skin Body Moisturiser. A little sample. Don't really know if I'd buy it again or not, to be honest. It was alright. Just a moisturiser. I used it on my dry bit for my elbows and things. Um, this is my usual deodorant, soft and gentle. It's the Wild Rose and Vanilla. Love it. My favourite deodorant ever. Usually the one that I use. And this is about a third full. It's the Avon Advanced Technique Colour Reviving Conditioner. My mum actually gave me a few of these. Um, it's probably well out of date but I've it's huge and I don't shampoo, uh, condition my hair an awful lot so I decided it was about time to get rid of it. And then baby wipes. I think all of the baby wipes in here are the Aldi Mamiya Sensitive. 
Um, love them, really good, a lot cheaper than campers and just as good if not better. So I'll show you how many packets I've got and obviously this is over two months. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm sure there's probably another two or three that um, have been thrown away and obviously when Ava's at my mum and dad's house because she goes there when we're at work uh, they'll go through baby wipes as well but for two months 11 packets not so bad we've got some silver is it silver crin silver crin uh, by Wella hairspray it's empty a packet of the Andrex washlets which are the wet toilet tissue and these are really nice actually um, didn't really think I'd like them, but yeah, they're nice. You can flush them away, and um, nice. I've got a hand sanitizer which we actually bought when we went to Egypt um, about three or four years ago, and I've just never used it. I use it at work a lot, but it's provided by work, and this has been in Ava's changing bag, um, and there's obviously one in there still at the minute, but yeah, I've used it up. And I don't like it because it's, I think it's aloe vera and it it's just smells funny. So I won't be buying that one again. Pseudocrane, big pot, now completely empty. Need to buy some more. Candles, the Halloween pumpkin spice candle. Love it, absolutely love it. Gutted that I can't get hold of it anymore. I've only got a little one. Um, but I've got some really nice candles which I showed um, in a vlog for Dean's mum and dad. And one of those I've already burned, which is the Yankee Candle, the Fruit Fusion. Not my favourite smell, very, very fruity. Um, smelt nice, wouldn't necessarily choose it myself, but if you like really, really fruity smells, um, you know, you might fancy that one. And it's like an orange coloured candle. Along the candles again is a Glade. Um, I can't remember red. Can't remember what smell, what the exact scent was, but um, it was one of the Christmas ones. I can't remember something like red currant or red apple or something. I don't know, but anyway, yeah, we've burnt that and it smells nice. Some cocoa butter formula. The stretch mark cream, massage lotion, I think there's still a little bit in there but um, I can't get it out and it's a hard bottle. This is got sh um, shea butter and that was actually a sample out of a bounty pack from when I was pregnant with Ava. So it's over two and a bit years old and the expiry thing is 12 months after opening so it needs chucking really. Um, not a big fan really. This was given to me by somebody. Um, as a present, as part of a present, and it's the Rituals Zen Sation Organic Rice Milk and Cherry Blossom Foaming Shower Gel Sensation. Um, it looks like that. It smells nice. Uh, don't think I'd buy it myself. It is um, a bit of a waste of money, I think, because you go through it like no tomorrow. Um, foams up a little bit. Not a big fan. That's as much as I can say about that. And Body Shop Hemp Hand Protector. Can't really see it because I crinkle it up and squeeze it. Um, best moisturiser ever. Use it loads. My hands get really, really dry and sometimes they're a bit cracked because I have to wash and alcohol gel my hands all the time at work because of what I do. Um, and that is the best cream I've ever used. If you're suffering with dry, cracked hands, give it a go. It's brilliant. And I think. Last thing in here is Tesco's Everyday, Everyday Value Shower Gel. Um, it's a bit fruity, it doesn't give you a, a scent, um, but it's, nice. it is actually a really nice smell. It's inexpensive and it does the job. So yeah, give it a go. Um, it's nice. And that is all my empties.